and I'm sure you keep a, a close eye on your old old club here. You must mm. be impressed with how they're progressing under under the guidance of Jurgen Klopp. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The, the front play has always been exciting, and now they've, they've shored up the back a bit as well. Now, so so as a team, now they're very very solid. Play some fantastic football, really enjoyable to watch. And they've made a fantastic start as well, which is always important in any league campaign. It starts important, and now they're up amongst it, and um, it's looking very promising. Do you think, is it realistic to think they can push City all the way this season? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, last season, in my opinion, Liverpool were the only team that gave Man City a run for the money, playing, you know, toe to toe, yeah. and, and giving them a game. Uh, didn't need any um, tactical play at all, just give them a game, you know, toe to toe, as it were. So, with the progress Liverpool have made and the signings have made and now the strength in depth they have, then without doubt they have a chance of... Uh, you're going to need some luck, obviously, but we'll definitely have a chance of winning the league, yeah. The Blood Red Podcast from the Liverpool Echo. And just looking back on your career, obviously mm. started off at your, your boy at Club Villa. Yeah. Um, you know, great success there, the big move to, to Rangers in, yeah. in 87. Um, am I right in thinking you could have... You could have joined Everton, couldn't you? Yeah, that year? You yeah. Could, Everton. could have been on Merseyside four years before you finally made it here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I could have. Um, I, I don't know if it was na- could have been middle names Everton. I, didn't, <laughs> I just thought uh, maybe not. Maybe ch- check other places. But no, no. Obviously, Everton was, was a great club. Yeah. It's a great club. Uh, but it was just wasn't right for me at the time. So um, when I spoke to Glasgow Rangers and, and everything, ticked the boxes there, and uh, never regretted a minute there. Yeah. The Blood Red Podcast from the Liverpool Echo. 1.25 million Liverpool paid for you. Yeah. Did you feel that pressure? Did, did that was that part of it? Do you think coming with a big price tag? You know, it was a lot of money at the time. Yeah. Doesn't feel like. Doesn't seem like it these no, days. No, pennies, it? no, isn't it? No, um, it, it wasn't a case of the pressure of the finance. The finance is a pressure of just doing well. You, you play for clubs that I've played for, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Glasgow Rangers. It comes with the territory pressure. So it wasn't the pressure of the fee. It was the pressure of trying to do well. Pressure of uh, trying to succeed and and be effective in the, in your in your team. November 91, uh, Auxerre yeah. at Anfield. You must mm. have happy memories of that night. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a good great night. I mean, uh, the, the, the tie, the first round, we we uh, lost two nil. Yeah. So it was we were up against it. I think no one really fancied us to overall two nil. I don't think every any club at that time, up till then, had ever overhauled a two nil deficit. So um, to actually do that and do it with such flair as we did it was really a great night and uh, although in fact it wasn't even a sellout at Anfield but the, the atmosphere was really electric and the crowd were brilliant for us and got us through the uh, got us over the white line as it were yeah well, I was looking there's only, there only 23,000 yeah. inside Anfield that night although I think the number of people that claim to be there is probably uh, a, bit, <laughs> a bit higher yeah. than that but um, yeah, yeah it was it was live on TV and I don't know if that yeah. affected the affected the, uh, the attendance plus we were up against it but yeah it was only 23,000 which is unheard of for a you know a Liverpool European night, yeah, and obviously Liverpool had wiped out the the two goal deficit from the first leg. I think mm. it was six or seven minutes to go when Jan yeah. Molby put you through, and yeah. fantastic for you as a relatively you know new player at the yeah. club to to get the winner in a. Yeah. That, that was Liverpool's first season back in Europe, I think. As I well, think wasn't it was. It? Yeah, I think it was. As I said, uh, it was a it was a great night to get on the end of uh, uh, that that, pro- that that pass. I should say was fantastic, and to get makes to watch it slide into the corner was brilliant. So it was a great over. Return of the um, of the the, the 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 tie, and as I said, no one gave us a chance really of winning that. So to win that was really, really promising, and enjoyed it. The Blood Red Podcast from the Liverpool Echo.